One day my friend and I were discussing of how much improvement in technology we have had in the last 10 years. If you compare 2000 to 2010 and 2010 to 2020, there's been a lot of improvement. It's possibly the butterfly effect of how initial improvement in technology helped you to do more improvements in the later stages. But that's something that intrigued me and we started a discussion of what's the point where we will reach and we will be like, okay, that's enough of improvement we have had. We wanted technological improvement. We got technological improvement. Let's stop. Like, let's live with uh, enough innovations and enough technology we have right now. Why do you need more? So before going to that question, let's start out with the foundation of technology. Why do you need technology? So the main motive of technology is to make your life easier and in the process, make you lazy. Imagine every technological improvement. Imagine you had to walk 10, 15 kilometers. There comes up a cycle which makes your life easier and in the process reduces your labor, making you lazy. But cycling was also tiresome. So then came up motor vehicles, which would do the same thing in lesser time, but and in the process make you lazy. Because right now you won't choose a cycle over a motor vehicle, maybe car, maybe bike, unless and until, you know, maybe you are against pollution or you want to do exercise. In normal situations, you will always choose motor vehicles over a cycle. And that's because the technological improvement ruined us to become lazy. Let's take another example. Imagine AI. Why does everyone want to make everything automated? One, to become more efficient. That's for sure the concept. And second is to reduce your manual labor. Imagine you're sitting somewhere. It's hot. You want to switch on the fan. But in many situations, you won't just because, you know, you had to walk, go there, switch on the switch. So what you will do is you will sit there. You will... Uh, experience the heat but not do manual work. But imagine if there was an assistant. Imagine there was an AI which was voice controlled. Imagine an Alexa. You could just say, switch on the fan and you can do it. So in that particular manner, you are more lazy now just because you could do something without doing manual labor. Right? And the problem with technological improvements end is the concept of bare minimum. Imagine a grandparents generation who lived in the possible post-independence era where the main amenity for them was survival and to get food. For our parents, it was shelter and food. For them, give, getting shelter and food was possibly a luxury. Having a good house was a luxury. But imagine our generation. For us, having a house or getting good food is not considered to be privileged. For us, it's for most of us at least, it's bare minimum. If you have good food, if you have a good house, you're like, okay, sabke paas hai. what's uh, big about it? And that's a problem with technology also. With every improvement you will have, the next generation for them, it's the bare minimum. Imagine the internet. For the, uh, for the people or for the children who are now at around ages 10, 12, they don't know the era where internet was not existing. For them, internet is the bare minimum. They grew up getting internet. They grew up watching YouTube videos. They grew up having social media, possibly uh, way young than we were. So in that particular stages, the bare minimum for them has changed. And that will keep on changing. So the line I like to use is the bare minimum keeps on changing. And because of that, we we'll always want to improve because this, when you have bare minimum, you always want to get something more than a bare minimum. And the only way I feel technological improvements can stop is once we reach a uh, total exhaustion of resources. Now the resources, if you don't have more resources, if you don't get, if you don't become interplanetary or intergalactic species as everyone wants to, if we, use all the resources on the earth and possibly from the sun, you don't have resources more. So from where are you going to do more innovations? If you feel there's a different option, there's a different way in which technological improvement can stop, do tell me in the comment section. And yeah, that's it.